Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley has slammed statements by opposition leader Kamala Prasad Bisasa against Ghana doing business with Trinidad and Tobago. Dr. Rowley wrote a letter to the editor on Sunday night expressing disappointment at the destructive behavior of Kamala Prasad Bisasa, whom he said last week saw it fit to publicly tell the people of Ghana to ignore the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago and anything he said or agreed to do with them in Ghana. At Monday's post-cabinet media briefing, the Prime Minister said the government is aiming to sign a contract on July 1st to put Trinidad and Tobago in a position to benefit from investments with Ghana. She got herself quoted in the Ghanaian media saying, ignore the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago because nothing that you say could ever come to pass. You know what that has done? Created uncertainty again for the Ghanaians in dealing with Trinidad and Tobago. He lamented that the opposition leader caused government to lose phase one of the gas processing business and the pipeline business with Ghana. He explained the uncertainty created by her recent statements could also threaten Trinidad and Tobago's diversification plan in the financial sector. As a matter of fact, the NGC is now requiring more than ever to go vertically integrated to stop being only a, a, a gas aggregator in Trinidad and Tobago, but to get into the business deeper. And we are only that big in Trinidad and Tobago. We look outside as the bank has done and found opportunities. Today, Republic Bank is the spearhead of our growth in West Africa.